my myself. Why did it go off my this video is sponsored by Hunt a Killer. As you guys know, Halloween season is probably my favorite time of the year, and I like to do as many creepy activities as possible, even though that's kind of my normal, I guess. But if you guys are looking for something fun to do during Halloween season, I highly recommend Hunt a Killer. Whether it's date night or game night, Hunt a Killer brings people together by challenging them to decode ciphers, examine clues, and solve puzzles. It's like an escape room delivered directly to your door. It comes with a box, so you're basically like a detective. You get evidence you have to look through, envelopes, profiles of criminals, and whatnot. And one of my favorite parts about Hunt a Killer is that you can join their spoil-free community with thousands of members to help each other solve these super difficult puzzles and talk about true crime. And Hunt a Killer keeps on growing. They have around 100,000 active subscribers and over 2,000 five-star reviews. I just love this game. I like how you get to physically have everything like you physically get to go through it just like a detective like you're doing detective work but at home and it's just super fun I know that I like watching true crime and like trying to figure out who the murderer was and what happened but this is a way to do it in a very interactive way and right now as a Kel cat you can go to huntakiller.com slash Kelsey and use code Kelsey for $10 off your first box again make sure to use the code K-E-L-S-I for that discount now let's get into the video Hey Kelcats, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Kelsey Davies. I had a really weird and creepy ass experience the other night or other morning. Um, so I um, used the Ouija board. I don't know if I posted this video yet or if it's gonna be posted, but we used the Ouija board at those super creepy human experiment tunnels and we got some weird, possibly demonic things coming through on it. I went home and I thought I saged it, but I, I honestly don't know what this was. It was just really weird. So the other morning, Drew left for work, my boyfriend, and then I went back to sleep, and I had this super disturbing dream. Like, it was like, so my family and I, we were moving into this old house that was super, like, super beautiful, um, and... It was just like a super beautiful house that we wanted to move into and I thought it was haunted. So I was in there and I felt like a lot of energy. I didn't feel anything negative. I just felt like there were a lot of spirits in it or whatever. So then um, Amanda is in the dream too and she comes over and it was like nighttime and the energy just shifted. Like it was super different and she was like, I feel like there's something super bad here, like very negative. I don't think you guys should move into this house. And I was like, that's weird because in the day, like it felt good, but like I feel it now in the night, like like this weird energy was there. And then my mom started being really, like really mean, like just, my mom's the nicest person ever. So she's just like not like that. So in the dream, she was super mean and aggravated and I knew something was up. And I was like, mom, why are you being so mean? And all of a sudden her eyes like turned red and there was, I just knew there was a like a demon possessing her. And it was really scary. Her eyes turned like red. I pinned her down on the floor. Like I had to hold her down because this demon was trying to go and like destroy stuff. So I had her pinned down on the floor and I was calling out to God, to Jesus, to the Buddha. I was calling out to everyone just asking for help, like the universe, just whoever. I was like, please help, like please get this out of my mom. Like I was like giving her an exorcism in this dream and it, I, it was terrifying, like I was so scared. And this thing would not get out of her, like this thing was so powerful, it would not leave her body. So eventually I got it to leave her body it like came out of her mouth like this dark energy it was super creepy and I carried like her limp body up the stairs and laid her on the floor. She was unconscious and like super pale and it was just super disturbing. And then we went into like the backyard and we um, found out that there was this creepy haunted demonic history of the house and it was just scary. And the weirdest part is I woke up after that dream and my Ouija board was sitting in the middle of my floor, in my room. And I have the Ouija board up, like tucked tightly on this shelf. So like, it's never felt, it's never fallen off or anything. Like my cats will walk up there sometimes, you know, but they never knock the Ouija board off. 
the entire thing was in the middle of my floor, like just in the box. Like it was so weird. And then I look at the box. I didn't notice this, but there's like a bunch of weird scratches on it. Like, I don't, I really don't think my cats mess with this because this isn't really something they would scratch on. They usually scratch on like cardboard or like their cat tree or like the couch sometimes, which I get pissed. But, <laughs> but this has scratches all over it. And I thought that was really weird. So I went live today and I asked Lola, I was like, Lola, do you think that there was or is a demonic entity attached to the Ouija board. And she thought that there was one. I saged the whole house multiple times. Um, I use sage just cause, I don't know, my family is all Native American descent and I've always been drawn to sage and like that's how I cleanse my house is uh, that way. So I don't know, I saged and I tried to make sure that it was gone, but I wanted to ask Lola about it, see um, if she, knows anything. I also got a new REM pod. So this is a device. Um, I've always wanted to get one and I finally, finally made the purchase. This device basically, it detects like frequencies around it, static electricity and whatnot, um, and significant change in temperature. So if there's a significant drop in temperature, it'll beep or if there's a significant um, rise in temperature, it'll also beep, but I'll show you kind of how it works. It's a little loud. So it's like this, but if my hand goes over here, it turns that color, here, that color, whole thing. This looks really wrong, but <laughs> Maddie like spit out her drink. <laughs> it's really hard to make it go off. Like Maddie and I had it on the floor. We were asking questions and it's super hard for the colors to go off and for it to beep. Like it's not like you can really rig this thing, you know, like it's really cool. I got this on Ghost Stop, by the way, um, if you guys want to get a REM pod. They're a little pricey, but they're really, really cool and super good for finding real paranormal evidence. I definitely believe in these. We're gonna use this. We're also gonna use the Ouija board and see if we could talk to Lola um, to see if we feel anything, because uh, Maddie is here with me. I'll introduce her in a second, but she also has gifts and can feel energy, so we're both gonna see if we feel anything demonic with the Ouija board. Board. Um, if we do, you know, we're gonna sage and cleanse and just make sure we're good. But that dream was so disturbing. And two nights before Mia, um, my roommate, she had a dream that she was being attacked by this lady and she was super like evil and trying to get her. So I thought that was really weird too. So let's ask and see what comes through, what we find out. I'm really nervous, but I think we got this, Kel Cats. We can do this. I am here with Maddie Kelly. Hello. <laughs> what is going on? We're not. Yeah, we're not close to like it. Like not touching it. I was trying to ask it questions earlier, and it wasn't doing anything. No, it was just going sitting off. there. I'm gonna scoot it back a little bit. Can you make it stop? Can you make it stop? <laughs> weird. I'm here with Maddie Kelly. Hello. And she, she has psychic gifts as well. She does tarot and um, she also has really good intuition. Just, you have mediumship too. You just have. Yeah, I just don't really tap into it. Yeah, I'm yeah. Like she it. can feel things <laughs> and see things. But we are going to use the Ouija board in a safe way, um, hopefully ask Lola kind of what's going on if she knows who this is and hopefully it's her that comes through. So I don't know. All right, we're calling out to our spirit guides, our angels, only positive spirits of love and light. Um, only love and light. Only love and light, positive beings, angels, whoever. Um, we're calling out to anyone to protect us. <laughs> yeah, we need all the we, can we get. need every single kind. <laughs> so we're only allowing positivity. Only here. positivity, preferably, preferably Lola. Yes. If Lola can come through, please. Is that how you do this? Is it like the? Yeah, we've done this, like the coin, kind of. Remember? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. We're calling out to only positive spirits of love and light. If you are here, can you please? Go to yes. Did I forgot how weird 
You know, it's so weird. It's so weird. I'm just sitting in front. Definitely here. I don't think you're supposed to take your fingers off. <laughs> I'm like, we're starting off with a bang. Shoot. Okay. Service spells out Maddie. I'm gonna cry. My. Okay, my. C. My C E. C E. <clears throat> L. Okay. My cell? cell? Like cell phone or like cell in a prison? I don't know. Why did it go off the right way? Yeah. Cell? <laughs> cell. Okay, um, my cell. Were you a, a prisoner? Yes. Why is there a prisoner here? <gasps> Wait, it was in the human experiment tunnel. Were they like a type of prisoner to them? In like the human experiment tunnel? No? Oh. I thought <laughs> I, had, I had like an epiphany, but it wasn't what it. What if it was like, it wouldn't be Alcatraz? No. They didn't, no. There's no way it would be Alcatraz. No. No. Where the frick did this person come from? I don't know. Did you come from somewhere I went to recently? Uh, it's so weird how it just pulls it. I hate it. Yes. yes. Where have you shit. been? <laughs> oh shit! I'm like, why are you summoning prisoners? I don't know. Can you tell us your name? What's your name? Okay, this is weird because I heard Clark. Oh my god, it's going to C. So if it spells Clark, I'm gonna freak out. L. I'm not kidding. I literally, if it. A. I'm telling you, if it spells Clark, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. R. Clark. Don't take your hand off. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I literally heard Clark in my head before we did that. Ew. Yes. Clark. What's your last name? Can you tell us your last name? M E L Melb <laughs> I'm M Is it Melbrook? Melbrook Clark Melbrook What the hell is that? <laughs> Are you, are you nice? I feel like it's just making it up. I feel like it's not actually Clark. I feel Clark. like it's not actually like someone named Clark. Like I feel like this is, it's making it up. Like it's making up. Um, okay. E. Oh my god, it just spells my name. Oh my god, stop it. Oh my it. god. <gasps> L. Stop, I hate this. I hate it, I hate it. This. I. It spelled Kelsey. Ew. How long have you been here? How many days have you been at this apartment for? Three. Has it been three days? I swear it's been like, I don't know. I just heard a bang on the wall. We're the bottom floor and the ceiling's like. <gasps> I don't like this energy. Me either, I hate it. Can you leave my apartment? You or need to. Were you the one, I don't need to ask. Mm -hmm. Were you the one who gave me that nightmare the other night? Be honest before we say bye. Are you kidding? Yes. <gasps> okay, you need to say bye now. You need to you go need to, to say goodbye. Goodbye. You need to leave. 
You need to leave. Oh my god, he said no. You're not welcome here. You need here. to leave. You need to leave now. You're not welcome. This Say is my goodbye. Space. Go to goodbye. Say goodbye. 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 Ew. Ew, I hated that. <laughs> it takes a black turmoil. I hate when you are. Ah! <laughs> I'm screaming. Oh I'm my god. I age. felt I felt like he was lying. It felt like, like it was tricking. Yeah. Like that's weird. Ugh. I hated that. I thought it like fully came through too. Ew, I hated it. Lola, is he gone? I hope Lola didn't dip out. She just <laughs> leaves. <laughs> like she's like, good luck and bye. Did we ask Lola? Yeah. Now I'm like scared. <laughs> I, don't, I honestly don't think he'll come through again. All right, Clark, you're not allowed to come through this not time. Allowed. Absolutely not. Not allowed. Only Lola. Can Lola please come back if you left? It's weird because like right when whoever this was came in, I felt like everyone just left. Like they I just left like, us I by ourselves. I really feel like everyone just dipped. We like, asked them to protect us and then they just left. I swear I felt like they left. <laughs> oh my God. Everyone please come back. I'm calling out to Lola, my spirit guides, Maddie's spirit guides, yes. um, angels of love and light, please come back to us. Clark is not allowed Clark is not here. allowed near any of us. Or whatever your name is. Whoever the frick that was. Alright, we're calling out to Lola. Can I please ask Lola some questions? Lola, can you please, please come through? Go to yes if you are coming through. Okay. Yes, okay. Lola, are you sure that's you? Can, can you, um... I don't know. Like what's what, something she would Yeah, have. what was something? Lola, how many siblings did you have? Six. Okay, oh. yeah, that's right. Oh, I was one really. of seven, seven children. Okay. So she had six siblings. Okay. Yes. Okay. Lola, what ethnicity was your family? I... T O A L I. She loves this. She's doing well. A and Clark would probably not know this. N. Okay. Italian. Okay. Italian. It's Lola. Lola, <laughs> what year were you born? One. Nine. Oh. One. Yes, nice right. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you, Lola. Um, is that negative entity gone? Whoever that was, are they? Did they leave? Yes. Okay. Was it a demon? Yes. Was. Ew. Ugh. S. A. F. Is she saying C? E. Do you have any messages for us? Anything you want to tell us? Yes? Okay, what? what is it? L O V Love, Love. Why? Oh, is he gonna say love you? Oh, <gasps> you! I'm gonna cry. Oh, we love you. We love you too. Oh, oh, she's so cute. <coughs> Will you keep us safe? Oh, yes. thank you, Lola. Um, are our spirit guides here too? 
Oh. Yes, can you spell out the name of one of them that's here? Um, <laughs> he just went fast. She knows, and she knows I know. Mm -hmm. She's like, do I have to spell it all the way out? She's like, and... seriously? <laughs> yeah. Lenny. Yeah, Lenny. Yes. Okay, can you go to goodbye, Lola? Good dog. Bye. Thank you. She was like intense. That was cute. It's weird how they move it. Like it's like it's like fast. This is different because we did it with the coin and it was like harder to do yeah, it. Yeah, we had like two intense. tiny fingers on the coin. That was crazy. It's easier with a plan tail. Like yeah. This. I kind of want to show you guys the saging process too because this is like, look at. It. It's like still going. It's like go and right when Maddie whipped out the sage, like it just kept going. <gasps> Some people want to know how um, we sage. So, I mean, I've been using the Red Dragon Sage or Red Dragon's Blood mm -hmm. Sage. It has like, it's a white sage, but with the Red Dragon Blood incense on it. It's just something like my ancestors have used for a long time. Maddie has ancestors that were Native American as well. So we're just super drawn to that way of saging. I feel like you can it, with like holy water, you know, whatever you believe. And I feel like it all does the same thing. Like I feel like the energy you put into it is to get rid of negativity and I feel like no matter what you use, it'll work. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's as long as you have the intention to cleanse, like you can do it without even like any sage. Like you right. can just call upon your guides to do it. Yeah. If you feel like you can't use sage because you're not of descent. Right, um, for sure. There's certain ways of saging that a lot of people use. I usually go um, in clockwise circles and to rid of negativity, draw in positivity, basically. And then I'll go the opposite way, which I guess it de repels negativity. There's like different meanings for different ways of saging. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I wanted to do more like, cause this is what I do normally. This is like literally, <laughs> I would have done this off camera yeah. as well. But um, I just want to share more of this with you guys. Let me know if you guys want me to share more things in my apartment. My apartment building's super haunted. Um, and there are a lot of spirits that come in and out of this apartment. Oh, that is experience. God, it. Lots of demons. Man. Lots of things. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys are subscribed to Maddie Kelly. Also, make sure you guys are subscribed to myself. And ring that notification bell so that you guys know when I post. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.